Let's take a look at solving an equation by completing the square, but this time we'll have to divide through by the leading coefficient first. So imagine that you have negative 2x squared plus 5x equals 0. Now, here I'm going to use completing the square. So for that reason, I'm going to divide through by negative 2 every term that I see, like this. The negative 2s will cancel off, and you'll be left with x squared positive. That is 1 positive x squared. Now here I'm going to have 5 divided by negative 2. So that's going to give me negative 5 halves in this position. So negative 5 over 2x, in other words. The 0 divided by the negative 2 is 0, so it looks like this thus far. Now at this step, you find 1 half of the coefficient of x. So 1 half of negative 5 halves. 1 times negative 5 is negative 5, and then the 2 times the 2 is 4. So 1 half is negative 5 fourths. So now you write the expression. You take the expression from step 2 and you write it this way. x minus 5 fourths, you square it. And now, as hopefully you know, if you multiply out x minus 5 fourths squared, that's going to give you an extra positive term that doesn't exist back at step number 2. For that reason, you got to subtract off the square of the 5 fourths. So you're going to do minus 25 sixteenths, in other words, like that. And keep the set equal to 0. To continue, pick up at step 5. So I take my 25 sixteenths, I move it to the right side through addition. So it's going to give me x minus 5 fourths squared equals 25 over 16. 6. I now take roots on both sides, just like that. So that cancels with that, that you're left with x minus 5 fourths equals. On the right side, you put a plus or minus, then the root of 25 over 16 is just 5 fourths. And I know that because. If I distribute the root symbol to the 25, the root of 25 is 5. Then you distribute the root symbol to the 16 individually. That's 4. And then you need the plus or minus. So the next stage, step 7. Back at step 6, you take that negative 5 fourths and you move it to the right side through addition. So x becomes 5 fourths plus or minus 5 fourths. This gives you two separate values of x. So it's 5 fourths from this one right here and then plus 5 fourths from the second term. Then you have to repeat that, so the next one will be 5 fourths again from here, and then minus 5 fourths. So then I'm going to say x equals 5 fourths plus 5 fourths, you can imagine is 10 over 4. You add up the fives and you copy the bottom one time, it's already the same. And then 5 fourths minus 5 fourths is 0. So this one already, x equals 0 stays, that's a good answer. At step 10, you got to simplify that 10 fourths. So you do that, for example, by dividing out 2 from here and then also divide 2 from there, like that. So therefore, x will be equal to the following. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then this is another good value of x. So these two different values of x would be considered to solve the equation that was given originally back at step number 1, upper left-hand corner. Remember, that equation said originally negative 2x squared plus 5x equals 0. And I used completing the square after dividing through to make sure that the leading coefficient, meaning this coefficient right there at step number 2, that coefficient has the value 1. Thank you. I'll see you in another video.